All right, you know what time it is, Fourth Quarter Boy Sports. I'm your illustrious host, Professor Lake, back in the building once again. The table is set. Ding, ding, ding. Come and get it. It's time to eat. Today, we're going to take a look at Trey Burton. I scoured the internet. Wasn't a lot of tape on him, but I found this 2016 game where they played the Chicago Bears. And we're just going to take a quick look at a couple of his plays. You know, I like Trey Burton. He seems to be a decent little route runner. He's able to create space for himself, and he also seems to have a good football IQ, which always works when you're moving from team to team in order to pick up new schemes. But fortunately, he has been used to being in a system similar to Matt Nagy's, so I think that his learning curve is going to be a little bit shorter compared to others. Trey Burton is 6'3", 235 pounds. He comes from the University of Florida. In 2014, he caught 37 catches for 327 yards and one touchdown. In 2017, he had 23 catches for 240. 48 yards and five touchdowns. Unfortunately for Trey, he was a third string tight end behind Brent Selleck. But with no further ado, it's fourth quarter boy sports. I'm the illustrious one, Professor Lake. Like, comment, share, subscribe, 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 subscribe. And let's jump right into the film session. Okay, on this first play, we're gonna take a look at Trey Burton. This is an example of how he uses his space uh, to create separation at the top of his route, uses his hands to get the cornerback's momentum working against him, creating a little bit of space, a little window. Again, a simple technique used by bigger guys. You see his right hand. You see Trey Burden gets that right hand on the cornerback. A light shove. Uses the cornerback's momentum against him. Opens the window, nice catch. Here you see Trey in a three-point stance, uh, right next to the left tackle. Good burst, stays low, also freezes the linebacker. Linebacker had his eyes in the backfield and he, I think he slipped underneath that uh, linebacker at the top of his route. We got great separation. Okay, we have Trey Burton in the slot at the top of the screen. Again, staying low, finding an open area for easy throw. Also, he understands that they're playing zone, finds the open area right in front of the safeties. This also shows his football IQ and knowing where the quarterback wants him to go with, with the route. All right, you see Trey at the top of the screen, running his hitch route again, creating that space. He knows when the ball is coming. It's definitely a route that uh, seems to be Burton's bread and butter. Trey Burton in motion. How he sells the fake, gets the screen. Very versatile. Again, we see Trey lined up going into motion. Nice play design. Again, showing his football IQ and versatility. I like it. So that was a quick look at Trey Burton. He doesn't have the 6'5 stature, uh, but he does have the route running ability. He does have a nice burst off the line of scrimmage. Uh, eating up space in between him and the defender. You know, he knows how to use his body to create space for himself. So you'll see him, you know, give cornerbacks and safeties a light shove or just using them, his arms to keep them away from his body. See him catching with his hands, going up for the ball. Now, there are times I think that uh, he catches the ball too close to his body, allowing defenders the opportunity uh, to get back into play and, and you know, cause a, a pass deflection. But for the most part, you know, he creates good space for himself. He has good burst off the line of scrimmage. I think he's a mismatch for most linebackers. I think he'll be better used, you know, in underneath routes, seeing that we have a lot of speed on the outside. I think that he's going to be a great security blanket for Mitch Trubisky uh, this season. I look for Trey to bail the Bears out a lot of different situations throughout the season. With all of these uh, weapons that we have on offense, I think that it's going to be difficult for defenses to game plan for the Bears. And I think it's only going to be an advantage uh, for Trey Burton and Mitchell Trubisky to form some sort of chemistry. And Trey Burton can give you some yards after the catch, you know. Again, he has a good handle in Nagy's offense, and that's going to really help Trubisky out uh, in his second season with the Chicago Bears. But with all of that in mind, you know what time it is. 
Fourth Quarter Boy Sports. I'm your illustrious host, Professor Lake. Like, comment, share, subscribe, 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 subscribe. You know what I say. Let's get the comments going. Let's get the dialogue popping. What do you guys think of Trey Burton? And I'm out.